This is code.org, and this is my awesome game lab project. I really was worried about Big Chungus, so I wanted to make sure that he got fed. And better yet, he gets uh, bigger as he gets fed. Now, obviously, Big Chungus does not want to be eating the game, although awesome, nor a carrot. I know a rabbit, but nope, he's a heavy rabbit. He doesn't want a carrot. He wants the burger. And if you've noticed, there's only one, and it's popping around here pretty quick. So let's see if I can get it to demonstrate what's... Ah, I'm not going to be good at this. Oh, missed it. Missed it. Got it. And as I get catch the burger for him, uh, Mr. Big... <laughs> Mr. Chungus, Mr. Big Chungus, uh, gets to enjoy said burger, and that is why he is growing. Hurrah! Bah! Pretty straightforward, pretty awesome. You can speed up the burger as well. Um, we could even add a point system or something like that. I want to just walk you through how I made this, what I did. I'm going to post in the description below a link to this as well as to the code, so you can check it out for yourself, uh, get some ideas, remix it, make something so much better, uh, and make sure to post your own work uh, below in the comments. I'd love to see what you make as well. All right, so let me just walk you through the code so you know what's going on here. First off, let's see, we're creating our variable big, which is going to be Mr. Chungus, uh, is equal to create sprite 200 200. That's the dead center. Then we set big set animation rabbit dot png underscore one where am i getting this image here so i downloaded an image a png from google uh which i looked for a transparent picture and um that is why he can go cover things right there's no background here and the name of this i could have renamed it but it's png one and the name of my carrot is carrot underscore one rabbit game same thing underscore one it does have to be under 100 kilobytes so pay attention to that. I had to use image resizing websites. But anyways, this is just a sprite, sprite. This is all their code.org's animation. But this and this I found. So back over here. So we set the animation and then I cut the scale down to half the size. Because otherwise, much too large. And you can kind of fool around with that if you want it larger or smaller to start. Rah! Um, all right. Now... The variables. This is kind of weird because if you're used to creating sprites, you always, or at least usually, would set the animation right under them. That's what they've done on code.org. And that is a good idea. However, instead of making all of these pictures move all over the place, all these sprites change, right? I'm just changing the picture. I'm not moving the sprite itself. I'm just changing its picture. So this, uh, well, this game is now a carrot and now an orange. It's not like that orange flew over here or over there. The picture just gets changed. So I set up food 1 through 12, because there's 12 spots here. And uh, X and Y locations, you'll notice, right? And they're 100, I think, in width, so that just goes all the way around the edges. And then I create the burger last. I create the burger last because the burger is just sitting on top of whatever is underneath it, right? It's just covering it up for the second that it's there. So I create the burger last because the last variable you create is what's going to get drawn on top of the other sprites. Okay, and then count is something I'm going to use down here. Maybe I'll even, I could even leave a little bit of space. Uh, eh. Count I use down here and you'll see why. Now, what I do right from the start, right when the per, uh, player hits run, get all food. What is that? That's going to be a function that assigns all of the food its animations because my sprites up here don't have an animation food 1 through 12 not automatically so I say hey computer run get all food and the computer goes what what's that and starts looking for some function uh, uh, uh nope not that uh oh get food nope get all food here it is and then it says okay I'm gonna run okay I need to get food get food one. Oh, so another function what's that uh, uh, uh. oh here's get food okay and, oh yeah, the variable food is really food1. Okay, food1, food, food1, got it. Now, random equals random number 1, 3. So we create a random number. We then set that random number uh, equal, uh, our random variable equal to random. If random is equal to 1, 
food dot set animation carrot. So our random number can be one, two, or three. If that random number happens to be one this time, food dot set animation to carrot. What we're going to do then, okay, let's just start it up again here, right? So it's getting randomized each time. Each time we start, this is getting run, right? The original one we're looking at, get all food, get all food really just grabs food one, food two, food three. What is food one, food two, three, food three? All of these. All of these are getting assigned a animation. So we take this, we call this function on food one. It then words uses the word food, right? Is there a parameter? But really when it says food, it means food one. And it gets a random number. If that random number is one, food one's now a carrot. If that random number is two, food, food, food would now be an orange, or three, it would be, uh, well, anything else is going to be the game. Okay, same thing, food two. Now we run food, food two, random number. If that random number this time is one, that food two is now a carrot, and so on and so forth. So we get all of those. Then what's next? Move the burger. So right away, I didn't want the burger to start in the same spot every time, so I move it right away, right when the person clicks one, so they can't anticipate where. How do I do this? So the burger is actually moving around the screen and sitting on top of anything else. What I do is create this variable random. Random is equal to a random number zero to three. Sound familiar? And variable change is equal to 50 plus random times plus a hundred times random and that is because the numbers for x and y are 50 150 250 350 they never get above 350 there's four spots 50 150 250 350 so i start at 50 i use random i use random 1 to 3 because i wouldn't want to do 150 to 350 because it might be 118 which would not be where i want it i use random 0 to 3 and so if it's 1, if it's 0, it will just be at 50, which is over here. If it's 1, it will be at 150. 2, 2 times 100 is 250. If random's 3, 3 times 100 is 350. Now, I set burger x, the burger's x value, equal to that new change value. Then I get another random number. Random is equal random 0 to 3. What I'm going to do with this now, though, I have to check that my x value isn't this, which is 150, or 250. Because it's 150 or 250, I can't have a y value over big chungus, right? So that's what I'm doing here. If my x, burger's x value is not equal, this explanation point means not equal to 150, and, and burger x is not equal to 250. So for this to be true for the computer, that means it cannot be here x or here x, here x or here x, right? Any of this, because this is all the same x value, it can't be here or here. If that's true, so burger's not in this spot or this spot, then this is true. And since it's true, it will go down here. If the burger's not here or here, it's on the edges, here and here. And that means its y value can be any of these. Its y value could be any of these. So we use the exact same formula, change equals 50 plus 100 times random to get its y value since it could be any. However, else, so if this is not true, meaning the burger is here or here, if that's not true, the burger is here, okay, or here, what we want to do is we've already gotten the random number up here. So what I have it do is, okay, if it's 0, 1, if it's less than 1, or if it's less than 2, so that would be the numbers 0 and 1, change is going to be 50, which would be this top row. If it's greater than 2, or if it's less than 2, it's 0 or 1. Else, so everything else, which would be if it's 2 and 3, it's going to be 350, the bottom row. And that randomizes that. And then finally, at the very bottom, we say change the y value, now that we've got it figured out, uh, of the burger. And that bounces the burger around. Okay, then we hit our draw loop. Important to realize in the draw loop, we do need background white at the top or whatever color you want, right? But you need it at the top because otherwise everything smears if you don't have it. So make sure you always have your background at the top. Otherwise, everything will leave a shadow because draw gets run 30 times a second. See, 
And so everything's going to be drawn on top of each other if you don't wipe out the screen each time. All right. Now, um, things to know in here. This is controlling. So if I don't have count in mine, it would change 30 times a second because that's how fast draw runs. Or if I slow down the frame rate, it only detects when you click the burger if you click on the exact frame when it's running. 30 times a second I left it at. But to make sure my animations only change once a second, my set animation changes once a second, I use count. So I create a count variable up here and set it equal to zero. And then here is, well, I'll show you real quick. At the bottom, count plus plus means count equals count plus one. So each time the draw loops runs, I'm adding one to count each time. And if it's running 30 times a second, every second it gets to be 30. So if count equals 30, right? move burger and we just went through that that's where it moves this burger around randomly and then what do i do well then i set count to zero and i could honestly do that here it doesn't matter uh and then i get all food so that changes out all the images of food and then i set count back to zero to make sure it starts back at zero and runs through again and again the next thing i'm going to do i want to check hey if mouse pressed over burger if clicked burger, increase the scale. Big scale equals big dot scale plus 0 0.02. Keep in mind that 0 0.5, for instance, is 50%. So 0 0.02, I'm increasing it by 2% each time. And once I increase it, I run move burger because I want to make sure that burger jumps around so they can't just click it again right away. And then I hit the bottom, as I said before, I iterate count, I add one to count, and I draw my sprites again. So, ta-da! And you get this gloriousness. <laughs> I am going to see... Wah! Oh, no. Ah! Whoa. Ah! It's too fast for me. I cheated while doing this at one point and slowed it down just to feel better about it. Wah! 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 I should not be doing this right now. I should be... Pretending like I'm too good and I'd embarrass ya. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right. All right. You get the point. Um, so, yeah. Definitely check out the code in the description. Try the game out yourself. Make something awesome with it. Get some ideas. And, yeah. Comment your projects below. Until next time. Ta -ta. Oh, I got, I got to stop. All right.